No. No. Hello, hello, Ignat Czech Portal Games, this is Portal Games Vlog, uh, hello, hello everyone, and today I want to thank you. I want to thank you because today's episode, the idea for today's episode is because of your feedback, your comments under the previous video, because many of you asked why or when uh, Portal Games will translate Naroshima into English or why we are not doing that, so today's video is top 5 reasons why I will never publish this book in English. Reason number one, the cost. So back then when we released uh, this book and when we were so deep into role-playing games, Portal Games was a small company and we were a very, very poor company. The, the sales of role-playing games were not high and we basically couldn't afford to hire a translator to translate 500 pages of the, of, of the book. We did, however, uh, translate and release our smaller uh, role-playing games in English or different languages. So, for instance, our first role-playing game ever uh, created and published, Frankenstein Factory, that was only 16 pages of the text and we were able to, to pay for the translation. We sent out uh, the proofs uh, to a couple of uh, uh, foreign publishers and, for instance, this game was released then in Spain. Uh, by the Edge Entertainment, which became, years later, Asmodee Spain. So Asmodee was releasing my game, uh, Frankenstein Factory. The same happened with The Profundis. The Profundis, we, it has only 30 pages, we translated it into the English, and it was released by uh, Hoxed, Hoxed, yes, Hoxed, uh, Hoxed Publishing in English, and then by a German publisher in Germany, and by Edge Entertainment, that is Asmodee Spain, in Spain. So. When we had money to translate the stuff, we were translating and the games were brilliant and we were finding the partners. For this, the cost was too high for us. Reason number two. We switched to board games. The company switched the gears and since 2006-07 we focused mostly on uh, board games and since 2008 or 9 we stopped publishing uh, Naroshima Roping uh, in Polish. We are just reprinting the, the existing expansions and the base game, but we are no longer writing new expansions and the whole company is focused only on board games. We did uh, last year, it was last year or two years ago, I think two years ago, um, uh, we did the experiment and we translated my book about how to run a role-playing game sessions into English to see if this is something interesting for us. Um, uh, and also we had a couple of uh, uh, positive reviews, positive feedback. One of the most valuable for me was the email I get from Rob DeVue, uh, His Majesty, Rob DeVue, who plays role-playing games uh, longer than I live. Uh, and, and he sent me a very kind email saying that the, from this book he learned a ton of new tricks and ideas how to run role-playing game session, which was a very, very kind word for me. Uh, to hear. So, uh, positive feedback, but the sales were not impressive and basically the whole operation was not super, super important for the company in America. So that's why, yes, we are a board game company and uh, the experiment with role-playing games were not super successful for us. So the second reason is we know how to promote, how to distribute and how to sell board games. We have no clue about role-playing game business in America. Reason number three is that I designed this game with Michael Orach and Marcin uh, Blaha 2002 or 2003, I don't remember, many, many years ago. And back then I know no shit about the rules of the games, about the engines, how to create the games. I was basically a writer, I was a mm, game master, I was good in telling the stories. But the rules for this game sucks. They are terrible, it is basically impossible to play this game uh, according to the rules. Uh, it was like, a, I don't know, I just wrote stuff, never played us, <laughs> we just released that. Uh, even my son, right now 18 years old, who loves Naroshima World, of course, and who plays with his buddies this game, uh, every time he meets me after the game session, he says that this rule sucks. Uh, in modern times, when we have on the market brilliant games like Dungeons and Dragons and Pathfinder and Alien and all other amazing games from Modif Mod Modifilus, uh, these rules would disappoint you. This is early Ignatio design. It is terrible. It is impossible to play according to the book. Reason number four. 
reason number four. This book is very offensive. So the Naroshima role-playing game was written by me when I was like a 20 or 21. I was broke. I needed money, I needed a scandal, I needed to have a hype for the game. So I got basically no breaks. Like I was writing any stuff that pop, pop in my mind. And think about a Naroshima role-playing game like a Jackass. This is this crazy dude from MTV. A Jackass a role-playing game. Like the things that we wrote in this book, if, guys, if you read it in English, I would be done. Like uh, the company would be like, I would have to send a press release that uh, I'm very, very sorry for the things I wrote and I want to kill my company. Uh, I was a stupid kid uh, trying to make a super, super amazing uh, role playing game. And it is a jackass role playing game. The things I wrote about uh, Texas, the things about I wrote about New York, the things I wrote about, uh, I don't know, Chicago and other cities, I would never be able to visit the uh, BGGCon in Dallas after you guys read what I wrote about Texas. Uh, so yeah, we will never translate it because it will it will destroy me, uh, basically. Uh, I would not say that I'm ashamed. It is a status of um, my status of mind uh, back then, 20 years ago. It was fun, it was crazy, and uh, it should not be published in English. Never again. And reason number five, I'm talking to this camera. Reason number five is the language itself. So the best stuff I wrote in terms of the language, the sentences, how it is written, is uh, Monaster, the other role-playing game, the role-playing game I wrote after uh, designing this game. And Monaster is uh, written in a very thematic, very stylish uh, language that imitates the books from uh, Alexander Dumas and other writers of, of this uh, period. So Monaster is super, super difficult to translate to catch up this, uh, this language. But uh, this thing also has a very specific language. I was uh, writing in, uh, in a very specific uh, uh, sentences and words and constructions. And I think it will be very, very hard to find translators who can grasp the spirit of this, of this language and grasp the the speed and the pace of the sentences and there is also a ton of refer references in the text that are for Polish movies, for Polish songs, for Polish items, even though the game is about America. So this tran translator would not only have to find a way to translate me, my style of writing, but also to change all many, many references in the text uh, to make it sense for American audience. So. Nah. It is not only to find a translator and pay for him, it is to find a translator who can translate Ignacy Dushevichek's style, because this is written in a very, very specific word. Here in Poland, there is so many comments, if you go to the online stores and you read the comments about this product, there is so many comments that says, oh my god, I just read it, it's so funny, so cool, I'm not going to play it, but it was so, so, so funny. Because there's one big stand-up uh, monologue about the world after the war. Uh, language is the fifth reason why we are not going to translate it. So this is five reasons why we are not uh, translate Naroshima. It will never happen. It will never, never, never happen if you were hoping, if you are waiting, if you hope that at some point we will do Kickstarter to translate it. If there will be anything like that, no, it will not happen. Your only chance to play Naroshima European game and to read it is to find a neighbor that speaks Polish and he will just read it for you and translate in a in, in a real life. I will never do it because of the cost, because of the sucking rules, because of the fact that I'm releasing board games, not the not European games, because it is very, very offensive and I'm ashamed of what I wrote many, many years ago, and because it is written in a very, very specific language, and I'm not sure if there is a translator who can grasp the spirit of young Ignacy Trzewiczek. Clear? I think so. See you on Monday. And so time for the structure. Guys, as always, this was one of the 100 vlogs. We are recording 100 vlogs for 100 days to try to grow this channel. This channel is not growing, by the way. I don't know if you see the numbers. The numbers are pathetic, embarrassing and disappointing. But no matter what, I'm going to record 100 vlogs and then most likely I will shut down the channel. What is happening here? I'm creating every single day the content for you. What is happening then? You give me a feedback. You give likes, you give comments, you comment if you like the content, if I record more of this content or it was in not interesting. The fact that this video is recorded after your feedback is the best example of the fact that this communication between me and the audience makes total, totally sense. And if you put in the comments what you want me to discuss, I'm recording. And here was that video. And the last part after the feedback is shares. If you don't share this content, only a few people will see it. And if you, only a few people will see it, the reach and the audience will be small. And this is against our experiment. 
Thank you for watching. See you on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.